All right, everybody, thanks for joining me as I give you a quick update here on my uh, five liter Mustang uh, GT40 head rebuild project. I've got the heads back from the engine builder, all rebuilt, all freshened up, and a little extra uh, machining on the inside to increase uh, the, uh, flow there, increase power. I went ahead and got those installed, and I've got the rocker arms installed as well. I went ahead and used all the original rods and rocker arms because everything was in really good shape. The heads were a bit difficult to install because these being cast iron heads, they are extremely heavy. So it was a little tough maneuvering them in there without damaging the gasket. I had to have a, a second hand help me out to guide them in while I got them onto those uh, little uh, pins at the little dowels at the bottom that hold them in place. But everything's in and they're torqued down uh, to spec which by the way I used a Ford M6051 D50 head gasket and bolt kit and these here are the instructions for them Let's see if you can see that there that's the part number of the set I used which is pretty much the stock set that came on this car and as you can see this is the torque uh, the bolt tightening sequence you go from the center one two three four five six seven eight nine ten center out and the Ford torque specs are there step one is 25 to 35 foot pounds step two is 45 to 55 foot pounds and then the last step three it said to tighten an additional 85 to 90 degrees which most specifications show it as being 70 but I tested it out 85 to 90 degrees ended up being closer to 90 foot pounds so I went ahead and followed the instructions that came from Ford performance so hopefully everything was done properly they went on without any problems everything tightened up just nicely I used um, the instructions say to use uh, put oil on the threads of these top bolts 30 weight oil and on these bottom bolts they came already with thread sealant on them but some of the thread sealant was inconsistent so I went ahead and added just a little bit extra to it to make sure I don't have any leaks other than that, they went on smoothly. It's just a, quite a workout torquing those down while the motor's still in, in the car. Uh, secondly was the rocker arms. They had to be um, torqued and tightened in sequence. Everything went on good, looks good. The instructions for those, which I got also from Ford Racing, let's see if you can point it out here. It says to tighten them right there. Tighten, finger tight, until the push rod it's seated into the rocker arm cup. This is the zero last position using your fingers. And then from that point, you start with the zero last position and tighten the bolts between 18 and 25 foot pounds, which it said should fall between one, one quarter to one turn for the correct lifter preload. And it did. It was about a full turn of the nut before I got, I went about 20 foot pounds of torque on those. And with those, I, you're supposed to tighten them in order of the firing order for this engine, which is right here, one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight. And we started with one with the valves closed, which means the push rods are all, or um, push rods and um, lifters are all the way down, and then went ahead and turned the motor to get the same position and followed this sequence. So nothing too tricky there. Everything turned out good. I guess the next step now is to get the valve covers on and start assembling the intake. Alright, well thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative and answered some questions for you. Um, please feel free to browse the channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.